time we that we can use to perpetuate the memory of our departed member, President Emeritus, Sister Margaret Phillips, of this craft. Yes, I hold in my hand a pair of spotless white gloves, which connotes the purity of her life and the wilderness of her humanity. Sister, have you found anything in your search that you can serve as a reminder that President Lewis has passed into the silent land just a little sooner than we can serve in this task of God's army at his own special Naomi 
they told me to pronounce it that way. <laughs> Hickman Lewis. She was a wonderful woman. Um, she was an encourager. I could go on, but I, I believe she liked to praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So the psalmist David, the next one, the 24th verse, he says, Lift up your head, O you gates, and be you lifted up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Amen. Question was, who is this King of Glory? The Lord. The Lord. I could hear, I could see her back on the back. The Lord, the strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. So lift up your heads. Yes. Oh, yes. And you lift them up. The everlasting doors. And the hook, the King of Glory shall come in. Yes. The question came up again. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. Selah. It is time for us to, we, we came for a funeral, but we also came to celebrate the life Amen. of a life well lived. Yes. Amen. She is a faithful woman. Yes. I'll say that again. She was a faithful woman Amen. Who, who touched so many. Everybody in this room, she touched. So we come to celebrate, we come to honor, pay our respects, and we want to show love to this family. Amen. Amen. We're going to move forward, and I've read some words, uh, some scriptures. But uh, we're going to read another one. Amen. Amen. It says in the scriptures, I will lift <coughs> mine eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot. I sound like I'm preaching. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm awful loud here, but uh, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall uh, neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, and the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, and he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. That was the Old Testament. New Testament is going to be read by... I read Carl Terry from Bethel A.B. Church. Good morning, the house. Amen. 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 I want you to say it again. Amen. And I'll say amen like you mean. Amen. amen. I ask you to repeat with me. He said, read it. I think all you should know. John 3.16.
first, I would like to say it is an honor and a privilege um, to be asked to be part of the Ministry of Music um, for Sister Margaret Henry um, Norris. I want to say some encouraging words to the family. A lot of people are going to tell you this too shall pass, but I want to say to you that God is still God. Amen. God is still God. No matter what you're going through, if you reach out to Him, yes. He will be there. Yes. Tracy, I will let you know my daddy always taught me if I didn't know nothing else to say, just to lift my hands up and say, Jesus. <laughs> and He's going to petition His way into your heart to heal you and do whatever it is that you need Him to do. God is able, He's faithful and true, as I always say. Why should I feel this Thank you. 
goes here and goes to the pews to a very, very special and loving family, the Hickley Lewis family, the family that adopted me several years ago. <laughs> and I adopted them. <laughs> and so, to my family, to all of you, my father's children, I just want to say, may the blessings, the richest blessings of God be upon you. May the comfort of the Holy Spirit wrap himself around you. And may the presence of Christ transform the steps of sands of our lives into gorgeous pearls of the New Testament to the power, providence, and provision of God's grace. What can we say? Preparatory to these things. Because we've come to celebrate. I heard Pastor Green say that just a few minutes ago. We're here to celebrate. We're here to celebrate a very, very special individual. Willie Geist often includes within his Sunday special the life of a person that was well and I truly believe that Margaret's life deserves to be in that spot. Mm -hmm. Certainly, this is a life that has been well lived. So we're here to celebrate that life. We're here to celebrate an elder sister. We're here to celebrate a, a devoted, stern, person, belt -built wielding mother, cook, an usher, extraordinary bowler, vocalist, a pianist, friend, and so many more things that we can say about life. And yet, truth be told, none of our lives would be ever as rich as they are today had she not had our way. Amen. All of us yes. have been touched yes. and our lives have been augmented and enhanced by the presence of Margaret Hickman Lewis. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for her. And I think we ought to just take a moment and give God praise for giving us Margaret Hickman your life and, and, and children. Don't stop sharing about mom. Don't let those stories go untold. Tell them to not only each other, but to your children and your children's children as well. They need to know who it was that paved the way for them to walk the path that they're able to walk this day. Macbeth in Shakespeare's play of the same day reveals his philosophy of life. For he said, life is but a, a, a walking shadow. A poor player that struts his and frets his hour upon the stage and is heard no more. It's a tale that is told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. And it is in that sense of futility, that, that hopelessness, that frustration. Anybody ever been hopeless in this life? 
You ever had some hard trials in this? Don't be saying, man. Amen. Have you had some difficult days and you didn't know when it was going to end, but glad that nighttime fell? Amen. Amen. All right, we've been there. And it was in this, this sense of hopelessness, this, this, front of, this, this, this utter frustration that seems to grip the hearts of the children of Israel in our text that I'm going to share with you, which comes from Isaiah chapter 40. And that's the text that I want to preach from today as, uh, as we celebrate Margaret's life. Somebody say celebrate. celebrate. We are here to celebrate her life. We're not here to mourn her passing. We're here to celebrate where she is. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank God for Sister Margaret and all that she has brought to each and every one of our lives. Amen. Amen. I'm in trouble with this technology. It wants to be a part of it and not a part of his understanding. Yes, sir. He giveth power to the faint, mm -hmm. and to him that hath no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Mm -hmm. But they that wait mm -hmm. upon the Lord mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That's what I want to talk about for just a little while. Miss Margaret's babies. I'm going to talk about Miss Margaret's babies. This text, as it opens, as the curtain rises upon this for uh, speaking of context, one that is replete with the chains of oppression, captivity, exile, and what's more, upon the children of Israel's return back to Israel, they discovered their homeland was erected from the capture, from the plundering that took place from a cornucopia of catastrophic circumstances that happened not only to their homes but also to their temples. It was a challenging time for the people. It was a very difficult time, but into their menagerie of trouble. Somebody knows that God has a way of stepping right in. And he steps right in on time. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? God has a way of stepping in. And he did just that. He, 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 he was he, speaking peace into their haunting storms of life. Storms of hurt, storms of pain, storms of suffering, storms of trouble, tribulation, and disappointment, and <coughs> even storms of death. Mm -hmm. And through these, though these circumstances and many, many others that we encounter during the vicissitudes of this journey of life, they may be wide, they may be buried, but they are ever-present problem, and they tend to trouble our minds. Anybody know what I'm talking about today? Amen. But listen to this short little man. This little fella by the name of Isaiah. His actual true name is Isaiah. We say Isaiah, but it is truthfully in the Hebrew, Isaiah. Watch this. This short little fella with a tall encouragement and reassurance. 
He's telling them, don't you forget who you're dealing with. Now you got to back up from 28, go back up to 26. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. To whom? Mm -hmm. Even, Cheryl, in your weakest moments, in your moments where the problems of all of this fall down on you, to whom, to whom amid your tears will you liken me? Who shall be my equal? Family, the God who Margaret served, the God whom we serve, is a great and awesome God. Amen. Though we may not understand why he does some things the way he does them, or, or why he allows some things to happen the way they may happen, or why we go through trials and tribulations every now and then, in the final analysis, and when it's all said and done, I still come back to the fact that God is an awesome God. Only God could step out onto nothing and speak to absolutely nothing and cause this entire universe to come into existence. Only God. Somebody ought to shout, only God. Only God. Only God can look past our faults and our failures. Only God can look past our arrogance and
by talking to somebody here. Y'all heard that big, that big belly laugh. She can do it. She had, she had, she had a serious look, you know. And and and, and she she would she would make folks that didn't feel like laughing laugh. <laughs> he gave her all of that. He gave her the ability to lift us with her encouraging words. Some of them are not always encouraging. <laughs> he gave her the ability to raise her children. Although sometimes that may have been painful. He gave her the ability to not only raise her own, but she raised some other children as well. Only God. Somebody ought to shout, only God. Only God. I said somebody ought to shout, only God. Only God. Yeah.
and he will answer your prayer. <laughs> Margaret, she was the matriarch of the family. Mm -hmm. You know, we loved her so much. I enjoyed listening to Margaret. Sometimes she would give folk advice, if you could call it advice. <laughs> Most of the time it seems like it was our orders that had to be followed. <laughs> There's, there's some situations about that we just don't understand. But here, let's get to this text because I've got to get through this. In our text, Isaiah questions the children of Israel when they cry out in their pain. He says, why is it that, that, that my way is hidden from the Lord, that my judgment is passed over from my God? Why is it? And, 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 and you know, there, there's some questions that we're going to have. Why is it that we had to deal with this? But I, I'm reminded that in 1 Thessalonians 4.13, Paul gave us some information that we need to know. We don't have to be ignorant concerning those things which uh, that, 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 about the dead that die in Christ Jesus. You see, this is not the end of Margaret. This is just a graduation. What you see in this box is what's left. But what the, the essence of Margaret Hickman is not here. The essence of Margaret Hickman but has gone on and escaped and slipped the surly bounds of earth and now is in the presence of God Almighty. She's there with Jesus, our Lord and Savior. She's there with Mother Emma. She's there with James. She's there with all of those who've gone before us. Say, listen, I don't want you to be concerned that. Don't, 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 don't get this mixed up. You're not going to keep on from coming back because when Jesus comes, she comes to Oh my. When Jesus comes, she comes to the here's the synthetic conclusion to the matter. Jeff, this is my first Baptist quote. Listen to me. Listen to the challenging word of Isaiah. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? That the everlasting God, as if we didn't quite get it, he reaffirms, he reaffirms it by saying, The Lord! Somebody knows he's the Lord. I, I, I used to watch Margaret, I watch her face light up when we would sing that song, He is Lord. And you could hear her really from the back of the church because she would sit on the last. I never did understand why she always sat on the back of the I guess that's because she was in a church. But, but, but she, she sat on that back bench and, and you could hear her sing from back there that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's just how she would do it. She loved God with every fiber of her being. She would light up with that. But here's what Isaiah is doing. Isaiah is speaking to the Father. God the Father. He's speaking of the Almighty. He's speaking of the Creator of the ends of, in fact, that's what he says, the Creator of the ends of the earth. And know this, that he does not faint, neither is he weary. Let me tell you, God doesn't get tired. The sun is a light, and you know what? That light never goes out 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year long, all decade long, all century long. All, the sun just keeps on shining. The problem is, however, is that the, the, the earth gets dark because the earth still turns. That's why we have all the darkness. It's because the earth turns. See, every now and then, we want to feel the presence of God. And, and God is still there. God is still loving us. Amen. God is still caring for us. But we have turned. Amen. We need to turn back to the Lord. Turn back to the same God that she served. Turn back so that God can erase that darkness Amen. within our lives. Some of us are carrying darkness. Some of us are carrying darkness that have been laughing for days, weeks, months, and even years. But I'm here to tell you, the psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord that made heaven and earth. Oh, yes. No more, man. He said, here, I won't suffer your foot to be moved. He will keep you. Margaret, Margaret was that kind of person. She believed in touching God and, and believing in God and keeping God in the forefront of her life. So you know what? Isaiah gets to this point. Have you heard? Have you not heard? Did you know? Don't you understand that this everlasting God is here 
to help you get through. Margaret did not like in a way that, you know, Margaret did make some mistakes in life, though. I, I, I will never forget when I first came to Quincy, uh, we had this, this, this brown van. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were going to go on the uh, first trip to the mm -hmm. church, right? We were going to Second Baptist Church in my own city. And uh, they were explaining to me that the pastor used to be a member of the church and all of that. And so I really wanted to drive the van, but Margaret said, oh, I'm going to drive. Because I know where we're going. <laughs> so we got in the van, and, and she put me in the front seat, and she started driving. We went down to him. I know now that was okay. <laughs> but we came back to Paramount. <laughs> So then we went back to Hannibal again. <laughs> and the last sign that I saw said St. Louis 105. <laughs> Needless to say, we never did get to Second Baptist Church. <laughs> All we did was just drive and we had a and she said, you know, we had a good Sunday drive. <laughs> That could really cook. That this mean I, I, I will never. I had probably the best fried chicken dinner that I've ever had on this side of hell. <laughs> when I went over there, she got out that black iron skin. <laughs> that was not one of those teflon skins. You know, you know, that big heavy thing, sure, you know what I'm talking about. And she got that big heavy skillet out, and she's like, fried chicken. <laughs> That's some show enough stuff. That's just that's how she was. She was she was that way. She just wanted to do whatever she could do to, to, to help people. His, as I got to this point, he started to, 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 to close this out. He said, listen, he gave the power to faint. And it's not just physical power. It's power <coughs> over brokenness. It's power over sadness. It's power to say, Bert, that I'm all right. Even when he knew she was. To say, you know what, don't worry about me. You worry about yourself. Huh. I heard him tell you that on more than one occasion. <laughs> I got this. You take care of you. <laughs> the power to say I can do it, but physically she knew she could not do it. But listen, he also, to them that have no might, the Bible says he increases strength. And family, I want you to know that's for you this afternoon. Grandchildren, great grands, friends, listen Listen, even the youth shall faint and the young people shall utterly fall. But the Bible says, they that wait. Yes. Somebody ought to shout it with me. They that yeah, wait. wait. Yes. Yeah, I'm part of that they. Yes. I want to know who I have some they's in yes. here today. Yes. They that wait. Yes. Oh, well, that's not waiting on somebody yes. like you're waiting on the table, baby. No. That's no. when no. you have the power to say, I'm going to hang in here until Yeah. 
Jesus. His name and everybody say Jesus. Jesus. And I can see mother, I was up early this morning, and I can see mother on the ark of the heavens. And you know what? The song that I can see, and we can see without music, and it goes like this. And I want everybody to sing it. Amazing. Everybody sing it. Sing grace. How sweet. Just sing it with your eyes closed.
and the responsibility of the many things you didn't get to say. I know how much you love me, as much as I love you, and each time you think of me, I know that you do. So when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called my name and took me by the hand. And said, my place is ready in heaven, far above, and that I have to leave behind all those I really love. But when I walked through heaven's gates, I felt so much at home. When God looked down and smiled at me from his great <coughs> throne, he said, this is, etern is, this is eternity, and all I promise you today in your life on earth is past, but here it starts anew. I promise no tomorrow for today will always last, and since each day is the same way, there's no longing for the past. So when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart, for every time you think of me, I'm right here in your heart. And my name is M-A-Y-A. <laughs> Family, all y'all know that I love you here in the bottom of my heart. And 
love Sister Morgan too is time to, one time when me and my husband went out with a visitor and she was sitting there bossing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> she said, How should I keep my mouth shut? I said, It wouldn't be you. <laughs> but I a time to Sister Morgan, she was just have you just laughing and stitching, man. And then there's sometimes she had me so angry <laughs> that she just have to just walk away from her. But truly, she was a loving person. And everything that was said today was truly pertaining to her. Then a lot of feelings I went to, some things was a test of life. <laughs> but everything was said today was truly a blessing for my sister because she was who she was and she loved everybody from the bottom of her heart. And so it gives me a great pleasure.
who were hurting and in need. Their mother taught them to believe in God. Survivors include five children, Richard Kathleen Hickman of New York, Delaware, Pamela Mims of Columbia, Missouri, Cheryl Michael Amos of Eden, Minnesota, Alan Deborah Hickman of Quincy, and Tracy L. Lewis of Quincy. 20 grandchildren, Michael Bailey of Quincy, Amber Taylor of Bear, Delaware, Aaron Lindsay Hickman of Chesapeake, Virginia, Catherine Margaret Hickman of Newark, Delaware, <coughs> Kevin Alexa Hickman of Willingboro, North New Jersey, Sarah Wayne Hyman of Atlanta, Georgia, <coughs> Roy Stephen Mines of Arlington, Texas, Nathan Hickman of South Korea, Shannon Wayne Sutton of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Jeff Sophie Mims of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Haley Gerard Davis of Yukon, Oklahoma, Maya Ashley Amos of Eden, Minnesota, Atenia Clay of Columbia, Missouri, Kendra Murray of Las Vegas, Nevada, Markeisha Shaw of Quincy, Devin Hickman of Quincy, Ashley Hickman of Columbia, Missouri, Carpavius Cotton Sr. of Decatur, Illinois, Tracy Lee Trone of Quincy, Stacy Lee Trone of Quincy. 31 great-grandchildren, 15 great-great-grandchildren, six siblings, James Marbella Hickman of Quincy, Alberta Hickman of Quincy, Marsha K. Harvey of Las Vegas, Nevada, Marva Lynn Hickman of Hayward, California, Jackie Michael Osborne of Quincy, and John Edward Hickman of Quincy, and numerous nieces, nephews, cousins, and friends. In addition to her husband, Margaret was succeeded in death by her parents, her daughter Penny Lewis, two brothers, John Edward and Norman Hickman, and two sisters, Deborah Hickman and Ella Davis. I have the resolution of the church. Whereas our Heavenly Father has called to rest from this family of women, Sister Margaret. <coughs> Whereas Sister Margaret Lewis faithfully served as a member and treasurer of the executive ministry. Whereas Sister Margaret Lewis faithfully served as president of the usher ministry. Whereas Sister Margaret Lewis faithfully served in, preparing, in the preparing and serving of meals during the special annual days of First Baptist Church. Whereas Sister Margaret Lewis faithfully served as pianist and choir member for the Faith Unlimited and Senior Choir. Whereas we commend the family and friends of God who know best and will always give us the strength to accept His will. We are praying for you and asking God to be with you in this time. Be it resolved, Sister Margaret Lewis, have, having answered God's call from labor to rest, we sadly record her death, yet joyfully glory in her new eternal home, and not made with human hands. So be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be sent to the family and a copy spread among the minutes of First Baptist Church. Prayerfully submitted, Sister Mona Center, Church Administrator, the Reverend Dr. Orville Jones, Pastor, First Baptist Church, Quincy, Illinois.
the face this day and the days of his. Always remember that he promised never to leave, not forsake you. Psalm 61. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Do its water roar and be troubled. Do the mountains sh shake with its swelling. There is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our friend. May the Lord keep you in his loving care always. Sister Mona Clerk, Sister Mona Center, Church Clerk, Reverend Orly Jones, Junior Senior Pastor. Holy Trinity Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend Jeffrey A. A. Green Pastor. To the family of Margaret Naomi Luke Hickman Lewis, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We, the members of Holy Trinity Missionary Baptist Church, wish to express our heartfelt sympathy in the homegoing of Sister Margaret. Our hearts go out to our children and the sympathy in the homegoing of Sister Margaret. Sorry. Our hearts go out to the children and the entire family as you and your endure this loss. Yet we must not grieve without hope, for we wait for that day of great rejoicing when all of God's children will gather together and inherit the joys of heaven. We know that God loves you unfailing, and he is with Sister Margaret as she crosses from this world into God's eternal glory. We are so grateful to God for the legacy that Sister Margaret leaves. Her dedication to the Lord, to First Baptist Church, to her family, and to all she met is to be admired. She was a true woman of God. <clears throat> in times like these, encourage yourself in the Lord and rely upon the world, the word of God for strength, comfort, and peace. We have his assurance that the ultimate end is not death, but eternal life. Be assured that we will be upholding you in prayer and stand ready to assist you in any other way that we can. Therefore, on behalf of the entire Holy Trinity family, we offer this letter as an expression of our love and concern for you and your family. May God be your refuge and your strength, the very present help in your hour of bereavement. The loving thoughts and sympathy of Reverend Jeffrey A. Green, Pastor. Holy Trinity Missionary Baptist Church, Macon, Missouri. Union Baptist Church, the Reverend Cecil G. Fletcher, Pastor. To the family of Sister Margaret Leon, we the officers and members of Union Missionary Baptist Church extend to you at this time of loss and reflect in our sincere sympathy and support. God has called home one of his children. God has released Mother Margaret Lewis from the difficulties and trials of this earth to her heavenly reward. She has been special to many and she will be missed by all who love and care for her through her earthly journey. Our loss is heaven's gain. It would be inhumane for me to say to you, don't weep, for God has fixed it so that weeping is the medium that only the only way man can express a feeling of his deeper life. The divinity has decreed that tears should serve as a relief valve for man's emotion and as a seat to wash away his sorrow. So I cannot say to you, don't weep, but I can say, while weeping, trust in him who knows and understands. We salute a faithful and committed mother, sister, aunt, friend, grandmother, great grandmother, great great grandmother for showing and sharing the special love of God and family and allowing the Lord to use her for uplifting, enlightening, encouraging others as they walk with the Lord. 
When this shall pull the curtain across my window and I am called away, I sh and should you come to say farewell, don't cry, just wait and say goodbye. Forever sub submitted, the Reverend Cecil B. Fletcher, pastor, Sister Donna Lambert, church clerk. Helping Ham Baptist Church, Hannibal, Missouri. To the bereaved family of Sister Margaret Hicklin Lewis, be it known that we, the pastor, officers, members, and friends of the Helping Hand Baptist Church of Hannibal, Missouri, extend our sincere, sincere sympathy to this family in the passing away of our dear sister in the Lord. 2 Timothy 4, 6 8 says, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid upon me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all of them also that love his appearing. Sister Margaret's daily life displayed her joy of being a Christian and her need to stay close to God. She was such a blessing in doing the Lord's work, especially at First Baptist Church, where she ushered and played the piano for the adult choir. She never failed in loving the Lord, her family, her church family, and others that came into her life. Family, do your hearts, maybe her, though your hearts may be hurting right now. We must thank the Lord for sharing her life with us all. However, as Christians, we know that death is not an end, but a transition to a better place. For we don't grieve like people that have no hope. For Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. We know that Sister Margaret is at home with her Lord right now, free from all sickness and pain in care of this world. Family, just know that as you make this transition, put your faith in God, and his peace will comfort you, and his love will keep you, for he promised that he would never leave you nor forsake you. Now, if we as a man can be of any assistance in any way, feel free to contact us. Prayerfully submitted to helping hand the church family, the Reverend Lindell problem. That's all African Methodist Episcopal Church, Quincy, Illinois. That's all African Methodist Episcopal Church members were saddened to hear of the passing of Sister Margaret Naomi Lewis. <coughs> we know that this is a difficult time for you and your family. Words are inadequate at a time like this. However, please know that you and your family are in our thoughts and prayers. We share in your grief at this hour, but we pray you come to know the power of the Lord as in time. We pray, but we pray you come to know the power our Lord has in time for and how wonderful it is to lean on him when there is no one else who understands the deepness of, our, of your sorrow. Therefore, we commend the family of Sister Margaret Neoma Hickman Lewis to him, who is able to comfort and cheer you. Just continue to put your unwavering faith in the Lord. Get all your worries and cares to God, for he cares what happens to you. With abiding love, Reverend Carl R. Terry III, Pastor, Les Fonds of Stewart, Dwayne Palmer, Trustee, offers the members of Bethel A. M. Church. Through Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, we, the pastor, Reverend John H. Mims, the Green Chapel Missionary Baptist Church official staff, officers, and members, wish to extend our healthy, heartfelt sympathy to you and to the family of Sister Margaret Lewis during your time of bereavement. I'm free. Don't grieve for me. Now I'm free. All of the past God laid for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work, or play. Tasks left undone must stay that way. 
I found the tools at the end of the day. If my party has left a boy, then fill it with remembering with remembered joy. A friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss. Oh yes, the things I too will miss. Be not burdened with time and sorrow. I would wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full. I say this much. The friends, the time of loved ones touch. Perhaps my time seemed too brief. Don't lengthen it now with undue grief. Lift up your heart and share with me. God wanted me now. He set me free. A sorrowfully submitted the thirteenth day of November. John H. Mellon Pastor, Sister Vicki Mims, and her work. The Big Sisters Federated Club, Decatur, Illinois. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes to the end. To the family of Margaret Lewis, inasmuch that it has pleased the Almighty God who do all things well, to take on the soul of your dearly departed. We now bow in humble submission to His divine will. On behalf of the Big Sister Confederated Club, we submit this letter of condolence and an expression of our deepest sympathy to our business in the We will continue to keep you in prayer and trust that your heartache will diminish as time goes by. May the Almighty God keep you in His loving care. Wherever you submit it, over the President, the Market A Majors Club, of the National Association of Club Women and Youth Incorporated, organized in 1934. To the family of Margaret Leone, when Lewis, the members of the Margaret K. Majors Club in Kingsville, Illinois, would like to extend our <coughs> sympathy for the loss of your loved one. Not only was she a member of our club, she was a cheerful working member. And oh, how she enjoyed our out of town trips to meet. Her laughter and sweet spirit will linger in our hearts. Margaret will certainly be missed by the club members. Words cannot ease the pain and suffering you are experiencing at this time. Mourn as you must and remember your loss is, in, is heaven's game. We must accept God's will and carry on as He leads and guides us. Keep your hands in God's hands, and He will carry you through. You are in the thoughts and prayers of all the club members, loving and caringly submitted all the members of the Martin K. Mayor's Club, Adi Lewis, Secretary. The Mount Island Missionary Baptist Church, to the family of Margaret Neal Hickman Lewis, we would like to extend our <coughs> to you during this time of sorrow. The the absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. While you are mourning, the angels are rejoicing. When we lose someone we love, it seems that time stands still. No words can really help with the loss of May the peace of which comes from the memories from the memories comfort you now and in the days ahead. Days ahead. Remember that to live in the heart we leave behind is, is not to die. We don't, we don't understand why loved ones are taken, but as the scripture proverb 3, 5, and 6 reads, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and leave not unto thine own understanding. In all, that way, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. May the comfort of God help you during this difficult time. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Prayer for the committed. Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. Pastor James. This is from Reverend Richard P. Wilson. To the bereaved family of Sister Margaret <coughs> Lewis, Reverend Richard P. Wilson extends to you his heartfelt sympathy in the loss of his loved one. Please know that you are thought about with deep sympathy, and I am saddened by your, your loss. I pray that the memories of your loved ones will sustain and 
May you sense the Lord's loving presence today with the assurance that He is covering you with His mercy and grace. Although the death of your loved one leaves a great void in the lives of the family and friends, we encourage you to remember that the Lord is our strength in times like these. Be reassured today of God's unfailing love, knowing that he will provide the comfort and assurance you need to deal with your grief and sorrow. Trust the Lord's blessed assurance to ease your burdens and lift your spirits through these difficult days. I encourage the family to look to the Lord and find solace in comfort and knowing that God's grace is our prayer is that you will stay strong in the Lord. I pray traveling mercies for you, and my prayers are also extended to other members of your bereaved family in the loss of their loved ones. We, we pray that loving thoughts of your loved ones will bring all of you peace. Yours in Christ, Reverend Richard.
be able to reach the young people and talk to them. I heard Tracy talk the other day. He, I mean, I don't know who, who does this when you're at a, a you're officiating the game and the player, the team is offering you snacks. <laughs> and because he has a, he has this relationship with, with the young people to encourage them. Who, who does that? Well, she passed it up. You know, we see the ushers that, that did such a marvelous job. She passed out. Every single person in this room, for your very presence here today, she passed something on to you. Don't think that nothing can go on, family can't go on. You have, it's already been passed on to you. Now, you can't do it like she did. And be honest, she wouldn't want you to do it like she did. But you have a gift that God has given you that she showed you that you do it your own way. And, and, and believe me, the legacy that she passed on is in life, alive in each and every one. Amen. Amen. She passed it on to us. She's passed on, but she passed it on to you. Amen. 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 Now in the, the hands of the ushers, uh, the ushers, excuse me, the uh, funeral home, they're going to take from here. I want to tell you, after uh, we go to the uh, cemetery, three pastors at, at First Baptist Church. Al's watching how much chicken is going to be. He's <laughs> already been fussing already. Amen. Amen. No, no carry-ups? Now your mom can say, give him something. No. Al is saying no carry-ups. And Tracy said it too. We're going to get to Directors. We're going to have a final viewing, so don't go to the other front now. There's a final viewing. The guys will got decency in order.